Teeth. Teeth. Hi, welcome back to Blackjack. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's uh, diversion to the toy store. Let's watch some frickin' death battle, shall we? I already got it past the ad at the beginning because Ben thinks he's clever. All right. Many with great power choose to take up the responsibility of being a hero. Yeah. But for others, it is thrust upon them oh, when they least expect it. Like Captain I see Marvel, that, the uh, high flying Avenger, Avenger. Avenger, and Shazam, the literal boy turned hero of the Justice League. Sounds like a an good job. Stick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Earlier, my parents asked me if I wanted to go see Captain Marvel, and I was like, for a moment it took me a second to remember which one is actually called Captain Marvel. <laughs> Before she would take up her superhero mantle, Carol was an army brat Very raised nice. by Joe and Marie Danvers. Inspired by her U.S. Navy dad, Carol joined the Air Force <laughs> at 18 <laughs> with the hopes of one day becoming an astronaut. That sounds really rock. cool, except, you know, comic book outer space is way more dangerous than real outer space. And which outer is space. already, <laughs> you know, pretty yeah. friggin' dangerous. Yeah, yeah, Arnold, right. don't take off your... No! <laughs> You're not far off. After becoming <laughs> head of security at NASA... Carol was caught up in an alien struggle, which resulted in an explosion of a device called the Psych Magnetron. Uh, what's it now? Didn't, the Psych Magnetron they didn't get into this to with the other death battle to alien species yeah. known as the Kree. Caught close to Not the to explosion, be Carol seemed to be unaffected. But luck was her too. mom was an alien Kree all along. And so Carol's half Kree, half human yeah. genetics were fused and awakened, forging her into a superheroine the likes of which the world had never warrior. seen. Too bad she didn't even know about it for months. Yep. Yeah, she'd black out sometimes and then wake up to hear of a new blonde superhero lady saving the day. Yeah, that was it's good. like keeping My, your own secret going? identity a secret from yourself. Eventually, she did figure it out and accepted her role Ow. as Miss Marvel. Tell us how she did. Oh, yeah. She's had a but bunch of names like that. Warburn and Captain Whizbang. Not, not getting about that one. Until a certain Kree superhero Actually, and close friend like passed on. Upholding the legacy of her mentor, she took up his hey. heroic name. And so Carol became known as Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel possesses incredible superhuman strength, speed, okay. stamina, and yeah. durability. She resists fatal poisons, has a notable healing factor, and doesn't mm -hmm. even need to eat or sleep for long periods of time. Mm, She's how got long? a ton of experience fighting with the Avengers, X-Men, and the space-faring Starjammers. Oh, and she can freaking fly! And yeah. to top it off, she possesses incredible energy manipulation powers. She can fire I'm photon blasts from her body, hair. alter matter at a molecular level, and Okay. Uh, uh, let's see. The energy Carol absorbs. Freaking. And absorb enormous amounts of energy. Carol absorbs maintain their unique properties. When Ultron formed from Iron Man's armor, the expelled energy was absorbed by Carol, who was later analyzed to learn about the incident. Interesting. <sighs> so she's like Ultron runoff. <laughs> <laughs> and augment her own power. And when she absorbs enough energy, she busts out the big guns by transforming into her ultimate form and top-tier fire-type Pokemon, Binary. Thanks to some <laughs> weird experiments done to her by the creepy crawly brood aliens. First she gets her human and Kree bits smashed together, and then she gets her genes brooded to become a sun person? As okay. Binary, she is extraordinarily powerful on a cosmic scale. Directly connected Near to the power of a white then. hole, Binary can control all forms of energy, fly through space, move at the speed of light, and even control gravity. Interesting. Oh, she controls gravity. Big deal. Even I can do that. Watch this. <laughs> oh, God, what have I done? Go. Oh, no. How sad. I will Here. watch that. Here. I'll pour one out for you, buddy. <laughs> oh, wait. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> While she has lost her binary powers before, she still yeah. maintains Ow. an instilled connection to white holes nearby and can summon the form when necessary. Similar okay. to another How long dormant power of hers, her hyper awareness. Her deja vu power! She can automatically predict her opponent's moves, sort of like Spike. 
Carol has little, little control over her hyper-awareness. Yeah. <laughs> hyper-awareness is a superpower? I'm more of a hero than I thought. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Often correct. Spider-Man's so really OP Spider-Sense. With her slew of abilities, Marvel is at force to be reckoned with. It wasn't easy for her, though, and she soon found herself wandering the universe in search of purpose. But yeah. nobody got away with messing with her for long. She's tough enough to survive a nuclear blast, a shot from a disintegrator beam, which... I have a feeling that 118 seconds um, is going to be awfully slow, and so is 92 tons of force. Yeah, but I have a feeling those are going to be... <sighs> Small potatoes compared to her opponent, which is celestial up the grass. Destroy the android vision in one shot, and even a direct hit from Tachyon laser. Tachyons are a theoretical class of particles that travel faster than the speed of light and are capable of slicing through nearly anything. Like an entire Kree starship? Yeah, I wouldn't want to be on the end of one of those. <laughs> Not only was Marvel able to take a hit from one of these, she could dodge subsequent shots as well. But let's take it up a notch. As binary, she survived attacks from both the Phoenix Force and the Halips, both of which are known for blowing up entire planets. Hell, she can wipe out planets on her own if she really wants to, because she totally already has. Nice. Even without her binary powers, Marvel could toss around in a well, blur no, the remnants of this like enormous asteroid. Damn, that's impressive. Hey, Wiz, how come you've never measured how strong I am? I bet I could punch apart an asteroid. Well, I don't know, Boots. They're gonna have to calibrate a new strength meter to accommodate your- oh. Get up! That's two for squealing. So, she's super powerful, but she does reach some limits if she overuses her powers. You know, after blowing up a couple planets or whatever. That and absorbing magical energy can be a dangerous gamble. Though it doesn't stop yeah. her from taking on mystic monstrosities whenever she needs to. Because Captain Marvel is one greatly. superhero who will never stop fighting. No matter what. Oh good. Looks like I didn't miss all the fun. Another combatant. Thanks. Right back at ya. <laughs> After moving between foster families for most of his life, 15-year-old Billy Batson didn't know the meaning of home. But one day, after being chased by bullies into a subway car, Billy was magicked away to the Rock of Eternity, where he was granted powers by a mysterious wizard. Wait, wait, wait. That's it? No freaky alien genes? No parents getting gunned down in an alley? He's an orphan. Yeah. Uh, oh, right. Oh, suck it up. Oh, anyway, the Rock of Eternity is no ordinary huh? chunk of dirt floating across the cosmos. It was the home of a wizardly hero who was in need of an heir. And to claim his powers, all Billy needed to do was speak aloud a single magic word. I said before, purely by coincidence. Shazam! What kind of magic word is Shazam? Even Abracadabra <laughs> would be better than that. Boomstick, you have no room to talk. Your password is password. And you don't even spell it right. <laughs> Genius. I... That actually... Oh, wait. Kind of is. How do you know my password? Let's it actually on. kind of is. <laughs> anyway, whenever <laughs> Billy shouts his magic word with heroic intent, he summons a bolt of lightning that ages him up with to become Captain intent, so Marvel. He just says it randomly, but he's fine. Until they change that shit because of Marvel Comics. Long story short, Captain Marvel was originally conceived not by DC or Marvel, but by Fawcett Comics as a competitor for Superman. Yeah, DC didn't like that, so they killed off the captain in the courtroom and took the character for themselves. <laughs> then Marvel Comics showed up 20 years later and had a similar legal battle with MF Enterprises. Mother <laughs> Enterprises? Damn, they beat me to it. Well, good news, because apparently they forgot how copyright works and tried to make their own Captain Marvel. There's of course. the power to pop his head off, and that's about it. He's stupid. Let's move on. With that, so Captain Marvel had two owners. Marvel owned the, the name, but DC owned the character. And so began a cold legal war, with both companies silently I feel like this should have been at the beginning. The line. Till DC decided, ah, screw it, let's call him Shazam. As Shazam, 
Billy gains a wide variety of impressive powers, including And the party Wait, okay, there we go. Okay, freaking okay. Mercury is pretty uh, speedy. Uh, he's got the um, the winged shoes, though. I mean, are we talking like literally? <sighs> I don't know. He's got healing. I have to find out like how much. Immortality is going to be difficult. <sighs> Does they mean actual immortality, or do they just mean invulnerability? Because invulnerability can be gotten around, you know, I'm just saying. Uh, so for him strength, self-sustenance, so he's also got the whole doesn't need to eat or sleep. Uh, encyclopedic knowledge, I'd like that. <laughs> I would like that, although combined with, as we already discussed, um, the hyper-awareness, let me put it this way. Have you ever seen the show Chuck? The Intersect and all of that? That's basically what those would be. Basically, you know everything, but it's in your subconscious. And it just gets brought out when you see something that triggers it. So, <laughs> that is a valid definition for the word trigger, by the way. It does not mean slight annoyance. Alright? <laughs> okay. Of legal drinking aid! <laughs> Each of these ancient beings granted their own capabilities to Shazam. The wisdom of Solomon gave him a perfect memory and the ability to uh, magically gain course. any knowledge he needs to know. So, it's like a smartphone with internet access. I. Sure. The strength of Hercules makes him super strong. Obviously. Uh, and with the lightning of Zeus, he got awesome electric powers. Zeus himself has channeled the power to defeat. Can ordinary people touch. I know what uh, Green Lantern summons is physical, but can ordinary people manipulate it? Like he was. Beat the Shattered God, a being only previously slain by the Big Bang. Yeah, I slayed your mom with the Big Bang. Shazam also gained Accelerated Healing, a shortcut to the Rock of Eternity, and the ability to share his powers with anyone he considers family, like his adoptive sister. I suppose he eventually Aww. found himself a home after all. That's huh? not. Uh, that's I feel funny. Back to cool superpowers. With the courage of Achilles, so he became tough enough to survive in space and even take on Superman himself. And with oh. what? Better, better. Right when I was, I dislike this. Nobody ever forget all my better butterfinger. Try it yourself for free. Just say to your voice assistant, uh, "Ask to send me a sample for a butterfinger." With the speed of Mercury, he can fly as well as God. move faster than light. Hey, wait a minute! Solomon, okay. Hercules, Atlas? The first letters come together to spell Shazam! Yep. <laughs> and you say I don't pay attention to stuff. Despite Billy's often <laughs> sour attitude thanks to, well, homelessness, he always dreamed of rising up and becoming a hero. As Shazam, he wound up being so good at hero work, he joined the Justice League. Though he did keep the truth of his powers a secret, as Superman would probably think twice about sending a 15-year-old into an active combat zone. Eh, you gotta um, learn something, right? Plus, he's super too. powerful, able to stand up against all sorts of aliens, monsters, and guns. He's fast enough to transform and duck. I'm an intangible being. Fought Superman multiple times, yeah. I outsped the Flash, army of Santa Glass in one strike. Pull it all in one move, and so even outran the Flash, racing around the world at speeds even Superman doubted he could match. That's right, Shazam is faster than freaking Superman. Superman can perceive time and react down to the femtosecond. For Flash and Shazam to exceed this in one run around the Earth, they must be moving more than 133 trillion times faster than light. Yeah, that's cool and all, but how about the time he punched so hard he started a black hole out of nowhere? He's tough enough to shrug good. off Superman's punches, survived planet-bursting shots from the Void Hound, and even a bomb oh. that turned his whole body inside out! Oh, oh. That's the Tesseract Bomb, and Shazam's magic was powerful Damn. enough to pull himself back together without much issue. So, technically not a straight durability feat, but still, a device that turns things inside out? 
Delightful. Yeah. It's so fascinating, I had to replicate it for myself. <laughs> the hell is that? Uh, if my calculations are correct, that, this should mimic the space-bending reversal effects of the Tesseract bomb, turning any object inside yeah. a hey. Wait, wait, I have a Tesseract. <laughs> I kind of figured uh, that. Oh, yeah, that makes <laughs> sense. However, even with all Shazam's might, he is still 15-year-old Billy Bats. His time and experience hardly compares to other members of the Justice League, and his headstrong immaturity sure can't one help one but that. slip out every now and then. Hey, rock on the Death Eater, whatever your World of Warcraft name is, suck on this! <laughs> Wiz, it's gotta be super hard going back and forth in that hormone hurricane. Yet like distractions that. and adversaries aren't enough to stop this <laughs> Cape Crusader. He may be the ultimate power fantasy incarnate, but he's also sort of. exactly what he'd hoped he'd be. A hero. Yay. You know, you've never been any good against magic. And magic's what I'm all about. Arthur's winning. Alright, the combatants you are set. Can we run the data through all really possibilities? That's right. But first, I'm in the mood for a marvelous meal. By now, you've probably heard of Blue Apron, the leading meal kit delivery service in the U.S. Okay. Blue Apron. Okay, so, um, Captain Marvel has more training, er, Carol Danvers has more training, and she's been training most of her life. I mean, she was an army brat, and she always had her eyes set on the prize, even though that was not the prize she was expecting. I mean, they said in the other one she did astronaut training, right? And, you know, that's going to require a lot of dedication and training and all of that, especially since she started from a young age. But it seems like um, Billy Batson has her outclassed in pretty much every other area. Um, she can absorb his power, but I think it's going to overload her system and she's, like, going to explode or something. <laughs> so, yeah, I have a feeling it's going to go down similar to that. Okay. Get a cook. So, right now, I'm it's time for a death battle! Either way, Captain Marvel has it in the back, right? Am I right? Are you being irresponsible with your powers? No, 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 no! Oh, jeez, stop, 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 stop right there! <laughs> you really think you can get away with something so petty? Oh, I didn't mean that. Uh, this isn't a. Uh, he just right. pulled the car. I mean, see ya! Come on, I know they're not doing that anymore, so it's up to me to add my own. That whole city's gonna be destroyed, isn't it? How about this surprise? Same level waste from before? More cars. his power, huh? Subway to there. That's it. This is really boring. 
ones. Nothing like a firework day in the night. This battle certainly pushed both Marvel and Shazam to their limits. But while Carol's experience like, with the Phoenix Force it's like Alex, she could hold up to Shazam straight You give us all these incredible she powers and they just don't short them. in most other categories. Even her energy absorption powers could only take so much magic before reaching a limit. But hey, Carol got one over him with her hyper-awareness super senses, right? <laughs> Not really. While Binary could move past light like speed, we've already established that Shazam can move much faster. Over 133 quadrillion times more, in fact. And let's be honest, having Wise Old Solomon telling you any information you need at any point is pretty overpowered. Nothing has yet to beat the, what, what was it, Novem Decillion times faster than light? That, um, what, which Mega Man was it? EXE? Yeah, I don't think there's ever been a number on here bigger than Novem Decillion. Speaking of which, Carol had enough power to obliterate than, a planet, yeah, but Shazam infinity. could punch a black hole into existence. Who even does that? Going off this building's height and the horizon, we determined the size of Shazam and the black hole. He was giant size at the time. With the estimated <laughs> Schwarzschild radius of the black hole being 526 feet, its mass must I'm be sorry, about 238 feet. How did you He was giant size at the time. With the estimated Schwarzschild radius of the black hole being 526 feet, its mass must be about 238 octillion pounds. Okay, I took German, the energy but... to create a singularity of that size would have to be 97 fo. Uh, whiz, what does fo mean? Asking for a friend. It's simple. One unit of foe is approximately equal to the energy output of a supernova. How Pretty the different. hell? Are you serious? Who decided this guy can punch with the power of 97 supernovas? That can't be right. Well, we can support this by comparing Shazam to Zeus, one of the six okay. beings he draws power from. At one point, Zeus channeled enough energy to defeat the Shattered God, mm -hmm. who had only previously been defeated by the original Big Bang. Okay, but Zeus is drawing power from a bunch of other gods. We can see at least 34 here, and there's probably nice, more. Nice. Even if there were a thousand gods involved, this still means Zeus is responsible for one one-thousandth of something comparable to the Big Bang. Mm. A universal scale event. That yeah, I don't think Binary had anything like that up her sleeve. Yeah. Carol was certainly no pushover, but Shazam had the speed, strength, and versatility to take this battle in the long run. That was one yeah. marvelous fight. Like I said, the winner she is had Shazam. Um, training, and that was about all she had over him. Hey, don't go away. We're about to announce the next death battle. But if you want the battle music from this one for yourself, you can get it by clicking the link below. I or check out one of those other videos right battles. over there. Fun? Oh, oh no. What's going on here? Oh, heaven to Betsy. Oh, that'll be Funny. I heard that guitar twang. I thought for sure it was Bond, but yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. <laughs> well, we haven't had a greed-based battle in a long time. I mean, the last one we had that was based on pure greed was um, Scrooge versus Shovel Knight. That was a fun one. I think that actually... I'm gonna have to go back and check, but I think that's my most viewed reaction. Um, I'm gonna... Uh, I'm gonna give them a little review here. Uh, this pretty boring. It was like Hawk versus Doomsday Disappointing, regardless of the outcome. Yeah, <laughs> someone, uh, someone commented, probably heard of Blue Apron. You advertise it every episode. Yeah. <laughs> Can 
always show respect to the Street Fighter car. That poor car is always being abused and never complains. Here's to the real hero, Street Fighter car. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna have to look up if that is bigger than November Cillian. Uh, <laughs> um, like I said, I just found it pretty boring. There wasn't really a whole lot of flair to it. Um, like I said, you know, Hawk vs. Doomsday was so disappointing to me, because here you have these incredible figures of legendary strength, and all they did was kind of slap each other around a bit and, you know, throw some cars around. And then, uh, Doomsday pulled off Hawk's head. <laughs> Spoilers. The thing's been out for, what, two years? If you haven't watched it by now, you're either not gonna, or you don't care about spoilers, so... Huh. Yeah, and the animation, I don't know, um, I think the best sprite animated one they had, um, was Mr. Satan versus Dan Habiki. Um, th they did really nice things with the sprites in that one. This one just kind of looks sloppy, and, you know, I know the whole, you know, do think you could do better. No, I really couldn't. But at the same time, I also feel like they have better animators than that. The whole thing, I don't know, it just kind of came across as a little... And why didn't they tell us all this stuff for her back when she fought Android 18? It's... You want to wanna tell us? I just don't understand. Also... Were they aware that there's already a Kree Nation when they named that faction? <laughs> I don't know, maybe maybe whoever wrote them is Kree and wanted to have something in there. Who, who knows? I mean, people will know I wouldn't. You can tell me. You can tell me if you know. <laughs> uh. It's just, it's just kind of funny to think of. <laughs> uh, it's like, I mean, they're not exactly obscure or unknown. <laughs> uh, so, I'm going to go, I'm going to watch some of that uh, Detective Pikachu um, final trailer and plus the video that Ryan Reynolds has up. So, I'm going to do that and I want you guys to uh, come back soon. Or in three weeks, if you're only watching for Death Battle. Um, it sounds like a fun one. It'll be nice and cartoony, and... Goodness, we haven't had a Kirby character since Kirby himself fought Majin Buu. And that was freaking hilarious, honestly. Um, I think Kirby is one of the two most powerful characters they've had on this show. And if they ever have a Battle Royale of all of their... Uh, if all of their winners so far, it would, um, <laughs> it would probably come down to Kirby loses, um, uh, crap. I have totally forgotten his name, and this is, this is bad, because, because <coughs> it was a really, really recent battle. Um, Darkseid versus Darkseid. <laughs> yeah, I think Darkseid might have the edge there because I don't think Kirby can hit up with that. <laughs> uh, the thing where he's just a giant wall of face. But, I don't know, Kirby has literally infinite power, so... <laughs> yeah, I know the final battle that Death Battle is going to do, whenever they, whenever they end it, is going to be Wiz vs. Boomstick. But I think they're... Um, Second to last should definitely be a full-on, probably be like an hour-long battle royale between all the winners they've ever had. <laughs> <sighs> it would be like the ultimate showdown of Ultimate Destiny, except, well, quicker, and not involving Mr. Rogers. <laughs>
Uh, hmm. We have Godzilla though. <laughs> and Batman. And uh, Optimus Prime. Chuck Norris. Uh he's still out there. <laughs> <laughs> he and Sega de Subshiro are still fighting. <laughs> They've created their own pocket dimension by this point. It's probably several. Anyway, I'm gonna go. I have said a little bit ago that I was gonna go, and then I didn't, so now I will. <laughs>